Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. I was going to originally do this when I was going to summon my scrolls with my friends, but that was going to be a little long because we are accruing a lot of scrolls. I already have 600 plus scrolls and we are planning to summon after this month's total rotation. So without doing that, I was going to summon everything here, hoping that I get a non-dupe. I'm not going to pick it out even if we do because I might summon it during the summoning session. And in that case, I'll have to pick out something else, right? The best outcome is to pick out a non-dupe or at least get one non-dupe out of these 10 summons. A multiple will be great because to be fair, there aren't a lot of units that I have to get now. I think I have probably like less than 20, less than 15 maybe out of the elemental nat fives, including the Witcher collab units. But I enjoyed today's video that Sean B made where he talked about each unit, how he's using them. Unfortunately, I saw that he got 10 dupes and I kind of think there's a very good chance that will be the same case for me. Let's see if I can get something new. Now, what I really want is Adriana. We are running an Adriana type of defense in Siege and sadly, because I don't have that unit, I'm missing out. A lot of my guildmates are doing really well with that defense. I do want that, even maybe for RTA later on. Uh, I also want, I believe, Pyong Char, which is the win Tokebi Lord, because he's also somewhat of a siege defense unit and also arena defense. I do meet him a couple times during rush, and he's very, very tanky. He's very annoying. I think I could probably make a uh, interesting arena defense if I do pull him. Other than that, I really don't have too many things that I want, so any non-dupe will be great but anyhow let's go one by one and try to mimic sean b's video sean b thank you i hope this is okay first one is the fire don't give me lord is probably the one i have dang it i believe if it's new it tells new right so i have the fire one and i have the water one actually so i'm only missing the wind one okay i am not using this actually i haven't built it at all I have seen some people put it in arena defense because his skill too does strip and guess has some sustainability with the kit. But because I am not using him, I'm not going to show you guys the current build or anything because he's not on a build and he's not skilled up. And I don't think he's that great for an early game player. 14 days. Luis is actually very, very good. I, I do use her a lot. I have her built for Siege. She's used in offense for me, but I know that she's used in defense as well. Let me actually just pull out the unit so you guys see the build. So this is how I usually use the Luis. Uh, it's for offense. They're definitely for the lead and also the survivability with her skills. She's an awesome unit that gives constant sustain with the shield, heal. I do think that she's a good unit. It's not as popular anymore, but you do see her even in Siege Defense because her guild leader lead is actually a decent 44% in HP. But I think in higher Sieges, she's mostly used in a Siege offensive way. It's this fast because you want her usually over the 286 tick. And when you take Luis, you don't have a speed lead. So that's why it's this quick. But Sally, the second one was also a dupe. Do I think she's good for early game? Not too sure. I mean, if you're talking about only PvE stuff in early game, then... Maybe for, uh, I don't know, I don't think she's that great. But she's a good supportive unit. She's someone that could replace something like Wusa, I guess. Okay, 21 days. New. Ooh, Nora. Now, Nora is very good too. Also a unit where you can use, use her in arena. Not offense. I haven't seen arena offense where you use Nora. But definitely arena defense. Siege defense. Uh, and also maybe siege offense. But I think Siege Defense and Arena Defense is where she shines. I have used her a lot in my videos, Arena Improvement videos. Although I'm not using her right now, she could definitely replace a free-to-play. Oh, it's kind of weird to say free-to-play when she's a Nat 5. But could be a free-to-play option, quote-unquote. Other than the Celia, I could go in right there. And she'll function similarly, usually on Violent Will, fast. 85 accuracy to get to get that strip stun or actually just a strip and provoke sorry the stun you can still get if you put her on a despair build her ai isn't too great though on defense so just keep that in mind or you could also use her in a lot of siege defenses i do believe somebody in our guild is using her can we find a nora 
think she's paired with yeah something like this where you really want the water macaroon guard the water cookie to do all the work there should be another one with nana i believe oh no i guess we have another one so there's two people running it but you could pair her with like dominic and nana something like this but instead of rakan it'll be Nora. it works the same way in most cases uh it's just less popular these days is she good for early game not really i think she's more of a pvp unit so for early game players who are mostly focusing on pve not too great especially knowing that the faster she is the better okay 28 days ariel okay a decent healer you do still see him sometimes in the run of defense especially in stall sometimes you see him with the lead and with three camillas or two camillas plus one so it can be a good unit in that aspect but very very niche uh with skill three cleanse i guess it is good for early game pve but doesn't fit any dungeons when i say pve i guess he's more of a unit they could use to clear the scenario but other than that i don't really see a use of him outside of arena defense not not a very good unit for C's defense either because really he's only a healer so because i'm not using him right now i won't show it but usually on double nemesis will or violent will if it's violent will you want it really fast uh if it's double nemesis will you still want it decently fast and 100 rest okay 35 days oh the water panda it was a unit that i wanted a long time ago but after i pulled him don't use him too much but he is definitely a good siege unit especially paired with the bulwark it's a siege offense that i have saved up and I do use a lot. There's two builds you can go. You can go Vampire Will or Violent Will. Obviously, higher HP, the better. It's a good unit for RTA still. Uh, there's still a couple of Japanese players that I've met in Guardian that still run this kind of comp. He had his glory days. That was like a couple years ago. Uh, but after the significant nerf, he is n just not as popular. But this Reckless Assault is still a crucial skill. Nothing else does something like that, right? So... Okay, but that's what? Five dupes? Dang it. Come on. <laughs> okay. 42 days. New. Oh, Ethna. I do use Ethna a lot um, in RTA these days. Not a lot. I guess a lot is lying. But I did use it a couple times. If you guys watched my video where I got my first G2, or at least when I sneaked into it, I got it with my Ethna picks. Mine's really slow because my best swift set's on Wedja and I have nothing close to that. So Sally does the best I could do. But definitely an RTA unit, not really great for early game. Siege, yeah, I have seen some people use it for Siege defense, but it's definitely niche. And for Siege offense, I mean, you could use it in Siege offense. She, she's a great damage dealer. I just never had her ruined on a specific team. A lot of builds that you could use Athna in. You know, a lot of people will go Violent as well. Some even go Despair. Uh, but I think Swift is the most popular and she is definitely used the most in RTA. So again, not a very early game unit. But if you play RTA since early game, then I guess you can use her. You have four left. Come on. Adriana. Adriana. Fire Indra. Dang it. So I don't use this guy. I've made multiple videos on this guy after the buff too. Uh, he just doesn't do enough damage and i don't know where you should be using him in i tried to use him as an arena offensive unit but like i said the damage is just not enough um rta i think he's never pulled out compared to his water and wind counterparts in an early game i guess maybe as a farmer scenario clearer it's the best thing i could say about this guy okay 56 days oh, shizuka Great RTA unit. Great RTA unit, but that's really... I don't use Shizuka. I think mine's not even ruined in RTA. Yeah, it's not even picked out. We have her here. Yeah, she only has artifacts. Um, but she's very good. People that use her well has specific teams where she shines. Like, for example, you know, those nuking comps with Cassandra and I guess... Well, the Fire and Dark Cassandra plus even the Sonya sometimes. For Siege... I rarely see her in Siege defense. Maybe you could use her offensively because her kid is really good as, as a support. So I don't have a specific team that I use her in. But I'm pretty sure there are a couple of Siege offenses where you could use Shizuka and probably with some kind of nuker. 
I just don't know because I have never used her myself. But again, I think she does have a pretty high hurdle. She needs pretty good runes to shine. I mean, all of these need good runes to shine. I think she's more of a unit that will shine in mid late game. So if we get all dupes here, I'm just going to pick one out and make it LD scrolls for the summon that we're going to be doing later on. But ah, come on. That's new? Oh, so we do get a new one. Okay, the Desert, Desert Warrior. So there is a new unit right there. I don't think it's that great, but I did see a video on him because of his continuous damage. I seen him in RTA, but it was a very niche team that only one particular player used and he lost. I watched this uh, through a stream on YouTube. I actually have no comment on him because I never used him. I do have his Dark Brother. I do have his fire brother. I don't use his fire brother. I have his dark brother obviously ruined up, but also very niche. Is he an early game unit? Is he a mid game? Like, is there a team? Let me know. Okay, but we did get one new unit. I'm not gonna pick him out because in the summon, we could get him. Can we get Adriana? Can we get Pyeongchor? Let's go, last one. Oh, Lila. Okay, I have Lila. I know she's good. But mine's not ruined up. And that's it. That's the 10. Lila is very good in RTA right now. And I think that's where she shines. She shines in a specific team. There's a lot of replays with her where if you use a control CC type of comp with a lot of debuffs, she just never stops moving. So if you want to play a team like that, then she is definitely the unit to go for. Not an early game unit, uh, RTA focused, and also needs pretty high rune quality. I think people that use her well are usually in high high RTA. I haven't seen much in the lower ranks to be fair. But yeah guys, that was the summon. Um, sadly nothing exciting. So I have to really hope that I get Adriana or Pyeongchor or actually anything better than this guy because I, I have a feeling that he's not that great and I don't think I've seen anything great about him. I guess even if I didn't have all of these units, the only thing that was really going to be a pick for me, I guess if they were all non-dupes, would have been either the Omiyojik. She's very versatile, right? If you have her, then it really depends. Maybe Nora or Ethna or the Water Panda would have been the pick out of, out of everything else. Yeah, but it really depends on what your current box is, so I can't really say. And of course, there's a very high chance that there will be certain dupes out of these. So I don't know what you guys would have picked. It looks like this is the only one that I could go for. So let's see what happens during my summoning session. Hope you guys got some better options than me. Hope you guys are getting non-dupes. Like I said, I'm at a point where this is expected. Same with Sean B. It's kind of expected that most of these summons are going to be dupes. So... I am not too disappointed. Actually, I should be happy that I got at least one new unit.